Welcome to another training session video. It's been a little while since I've done one of these, but I wanted to show what is going to happen in tomorrow's workout or the workout for April 27th, 2021. And we're going to be focusing in on what are known as step down intervals. Uh, this is inspired by something from USA Triathlon, except uh, they do it in a little bit of a quicker fashion than I am here. But the intention is about the same. And the idea with step out, step down intervals is to be able to control the really hard efforts. And what I mean by control the really hard efforts is uh, to be, rather than doing specific high intensity interval training, even though this is part of that category, uh, the step down is going from a very high intensity, uh, which is a little bit greater than your VO2 max, to something that's a little bit greater than sweet spot. And the idea with going and controlling this is to be able to raise the ceiling of the house. And for those that aren't familiar uh, with uh, my uh, the polarized training uh, method here, it's about the house where uh, we want to increase our VO2 uh, as part of the house. You've got your base. And the idea is you want to go ahead and raise this. And the most effective ways to do this is to do it in a controlled manner. Uh, you don't want to be out of control when you do interval training or you may not be able to get the most benefit out of it. Uh, what will happen for this week is we'll do a warm up. Um, I won't show that here because I've got the house in the way, but we've got a warm up and then you've got a couple of uh, 30 second interval uh, hard efforts right at this 125% of FTP, which is a little bit more than a VO2 max effort. Uh, and then a one minute recovery. I think we'll do that only twice or four times. I can't fully remember. Um, but there'll be enough rest such that you could be able to lower your heart rate just enough before that next uh, interval. And that'll help to simulate a little bit of what type of the recovery that you're going to get. Uh, but for this uh, workout that we'll do tomorrow, uh, we're gonna do one minute at 125% of FTP and then two minutes at 100% of FTP. I want people to think about more about focusing in on this 100% FTP. Um, I need you to hit this number here and then be able to step down in a controlled manner to go hard. And the intention behind this is, uh, especially when it comes to hills and even some of the longer climbs, especially if you need that extra power to go and pass someone on the bike, um, especially when you're going uphill, where if you want to take real advantage of those hills, this workout is for you. Now, the idea with being able to maintain control is that you will be pumping hard at this hard effort. Uh, but what I want you to think about mentally is to mentally think about how you're going to dial in to just above your sweet spot. And the reason why I see just above the sweet spot is because we want to, again, raise this VO2 max. And we want to be able to raise a level higher so that you're able to access this power when you need it most. Um, you're more likely going to be a little bit above your threshold power, especially for short hills. Uh, so for the races that are somewhat hilly but are short, um, this is the power at your FTP, if not a little bit above, where you're going to be accessing and going to be utilizing the most during a race, especially for Olympic uh, triathlons. And I know that the Lake Watcom Triathlon has a really good hill and even some really small ones where you're going to need a little bit of uh, capacity to go from this to a more controlled effort. And so I want people to think about how they control their effort as they go just a little bit above sweet spot. So sweet spot is right around 90 to 95% of your FTP. I'm asking folks to do at FTP here. Uh, we'll be repeating this five times. And uh, each rep, of course, is going to get harder as you start to fatigue. But again, maintaining control of your body, of your function, is going to be the goal of this workout. This is a sneaky one, and I made this video more or less is because I want people to focus in on how they're turning over the legs, um, not too slow, but enough so that you're able to crank a little bit harder like you're going in a power climb. 
And then, of course, I'll have a burner session at the very end if your legs aren't already toasted. But that being stated, that's basically it for this workout. It's fairly simple, but again, I want folks to really think about how they go and transition from a very hard, almost, I wouldn't say sprint effort, but a very hard uh, effort that's a little bit greater than your VO2 max, and to be able to control that to a hard power. By being able to master uh, this type of a transition without having too much of a drop in terms of efficiency as well as your heart rate, uh, that'll really pay dividends. And your heart rate is likely not going to drop here. Your heart rate's probably going to be spiked from this FTP effort, or uh, excuse me, VO2 max effort. And then when you get to the FTP, your heart rate is probably going to remain fairly constant as you go and churn through. Uh, so that being stated, that's uh, the explanation for tomorrow's workout. And if you like this video, of course, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification if you want to listen to more of these training videos as they come online. And you'll also get the latest and greatest in terms of uh, the videos that I post. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.